Hey, just got out of seeing the new uh, Tomb Raider re reboot with uh, uh, Alicia Vikander starring as uh, Laura Croft this time as opposed to Angelina Jolie and uh, she did an excellent job. I thought she was very believable. She was more of a Harrison Ford type character as opposed to Angelina Jolie's which was more like 007 kind of swagger. Uh, this is an origin story but I mean it was fine. There was uh, lots of good action. Walton Goggins who is the bad guy in this movie is excellent as always. Um, I mean when the tomb raiding starts that's when the, you know it gets really interesting and uh, you know it addresses things like curses and magic and these kinds of things and anyway you'll see if you uh, check it out. It is a decent movie. Uh, the setup for the next movie it looks like they're gonna be franchising this. It looks interesting um, but would I rush out to see it? you don't need to rush out to see this. Um, the action was decent, the story was good, the acting was decent, um, but it didn't blow my socks off. If you are a big uh, action movie fan or a big fan of Tomb Raider, then yeah, go see this. Uh, otherwise, if you want to wait for it to come out on video, there's no rush. You're, you're not uh, missing anything out on anything monumental. Um, but I did enjoy this movie. Saw it in 3D. Mm, didn't think it was worth seeing it in 3D. I don't think you need to spend the extra money if you have the option. And um, yeah, so that's Tomb Raider 2018. I think it'll be a strong addition in terms of a franchise. And uh, like I say, Alicia Vikander as uh, Laura Croft is solid. So if you have any questions or uh, disagreements or anything like that, throw them down below. I would happy, happily haggle with you. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button because sharing is caring. All right. So I'll see you next time here on Dungeon Miser. Dungeon Miser out.